Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to add a product on Squarespace. Let's get started. First, go to the Squarespace website and log in with your account. Once you're logged in, go to your dashboard and select the website where you want to add a blog post. Once you're in the dashboard of your website, go to the home menu and click on Pages. Click the plus icon to add a new section, then select Store. Click on Create a new store and choose the store design you like. Once you've done this, your store will be added to your page. You can then give it a name of your choice. To add a product, click on your store, then click the plus icon. Choose the type of product you want to sell. Here, you'll see various options such as physical products, services, gift cards, and more. A physical product includes merchandise, apparel, and other tangible goods that you ship or deliver to customers. If you sell physical products, you'll need to add at least one shipping option to your store. A digital product encompasses items like ebooks, audio files, and other digital downloads that you sell. When a customer purchases a digital product, they receive a download link that's active for 24 hours after the link is first clicked. A service product includes offerings such as classes, consultations, events, or any other services you provide. Unlike physical goods, service products aren't shipped to customers, so they don't require shipping methods or a shipping address at checkout. Purchasing gift cards sends an email with a unique gift card code to both the customer and the recipient. This code can be used as payment for orders from your online store. Customers can print the gift card codes, but they aren't available as physical plastic cards. In this example, we're adding a physical product. Here, you can enter the product's name and description, upload images of the product, and set its price in the inventory section. If the product is on sale, you can enable the sale option and add the sale price. You can specify the stock quantity if it's limited. If you have unlimited stock, you can turn on the toggle for unlimited inventory. Under variants, for example, if you're selling a product like a t-shirt, you can add options such as colors and sizes. In the fulfillment section, you can allow your buyers to choose how they'd like to receive the product. For example, you can offer options such as local pickup or ground shipping. In this section, you can add tags and categories. Click on the plus icon to add categories, such as t-shirts. You can also provide keywords related to the product to help customers find similar items. These are the selling tools that serve as add-ons for your product. For example, under Related Products, you can showcase similar or related items on your product pages. For instance, if someone buys a t-shirt, you can display related items like track pants or jeans. Under Product Reviews, you can display customer reviews directly on all product pages. Under Marketing, you'll find the SEO settings and the URL link for your shop. In the Share section, you can copy the URL and share it on any platform. Additionally, explore the checkout options to configure your checkout settings. In the subscriptions section, you can charge customers on a recurring basis and offer discounts on repeat purchases. In custom forms, you can collect information when customers add a product to their cart. This can be useful for retargeting, such as if a customer adds a product to their cart but doesn't complete the purchase. By using data like the customer's email address or phone number, you can remind them of their abandoned cart or offer them a special discount on the product. In Custom button, you can customize the text on the Add to Cart button. Once you've completed everything, click Save in the top right corner. Don't publish it right away. I recommend saving the product as a draft first. Review all the details thoroughly before publishing it. Once you publish the product, it will appear in your store. Simply repeat this process for each product you want to add. That's how you can add a product to your Squarespace website. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching.